everybody. <clears throat> hey everybody, how are you today? So before I get all red in the face, sweaty, icky, I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing today. So I keep working on this celebration circular garden. For short, I call it the circle garden. Um, I did a lot of tilling yesterday. The tilling went well and I'm just gonna start putting things in the ground. So mainly it's seeds. Um, I have started some seeds, so I do have some seedlings, but I don't think the seedlings are ready to go in the ground, which sounds, I don't know, I think it sounds silly, but I'm gonna put seeds in. And I'm gonna show you my garden journal, what I've written out. And it's all kind of like a scribble, scrabble, rough sketch. But hopefully it will give you an idea. Hopefully this will give you a good idea of what my hope is for the way it's gonna look. Um, you know, I have this like idea in my head and really not very specific plants, only like I do have in mind some um, big hydrangeas, but I don't have any of those right now. So that's gonna have to be something that comes in the future. Right now, I just wanna get this area started and it's a work in progress. It's gonna be constantly evolving. And, um, and so I'm just gonna get started. But before that, I wanna show you my garden journal and I wanna kind of show you um, where everything that I have, all the seeds that I have are gonna currently go. And then I do have some plants. I have cannas that are plants and they're ready to be planted. So cannas will go in and those are not seeds. So I'm gonna show you the journal. Okay, so this is the journal and I'm gonna open up to the circle garden. Here it is. So I have it mapped out here. It's kind of scribble scrabble. It's a little rough, but it's generally how I want everything laid out. So in the center here, we have a large area of sod. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to put three or I think I have I have two pots of cannas and I think there's at least three cannas in each. So I think I'm going to put um, if I have enough, I'm going to put two to three cannas. <clears throat> excuse me, one here, one at the bottom, one at the top. I'm sorry, a set, of, a set at the bottom, a set at the top, and then a set over here. This is the entrance, and the entrance is kind of bare. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with the view facing this way. So, first things going in are the cannas. Then what I've done is I've taken each quadrant, per se, and there's going to be, um, I have a Save the Bees pack of seeds, which I have everything in this bag. So this here is the Save the Bees, kind of like a pollinator mix. So that is going to go in each of these corners back here. Yeah, like kind of drew, you can see like back here. So that's gonna be all four corners. Then if you step in, oh, then on either side of that area, I have some amaranth seeds. So I'm going to put amaranth on, um, on the back, kind of like little corner caps on each corner. Then from there, I have Let's see. So again, this side is a little weird. So I'm going to switch over and explain. I'm going to proceed over here. So save the bees, the amaranth here, like a little corner cap. Then I have, these are sunny days. Um, I have some sunny days comb flower seeds. So those are going to go here. And then on either side of that, I have some dwarf teddy bear sunflowers. So that'll go like this. Then... 
From there, I have sombrero cone flowers. So approximately five in the back, then three right here. And then this is going to be like a little uh, drift of petunias. And then on either side of the petunias, I'm going to have four um, daisy plants is the goal for um, in a diamond pattern. So that's how the corners are going to go. So these two corners are identical. And then these two corners are identical to one another. I just, this part is just not planned out yet. Then I've also decided that I'm going to put hollyhocks, three hollyhock plants or seeds, um, behind the cannas. So three there, um, three here, and three here. So that is the plan. And today I'm going to start with the cannas, getting those into the ground. This ground had not been worked from my understanding pretty much since it's been cleared. Uh, I don't know when that was. Probably more than 50 years ago where this space is. So the tilling was a big job. And you are going to see, if I do show you any of the planting, which I probably will, um, you're going to see grass remnants in there. I just I just need to get things in the ground. And I'm going to mark them with... Um, I have pink flags, and I'm going to write on the flags and put them where I put the seeds. And we're just going to see how this goes. I'm really excited. And I hope that in a few months, we'll really start, start to see the green of the plants growing. So I'm going to make some flags right now. And then I'll get planting. And then I'll catch back up with you for a little bit of an update. All right, here's an example of what I'm doing for the flags, for the markers. I'm just putting on them what plant it's gonna mark. So this is the Save the Bees. I need to do one more, so one goes in each corner for the, um, for the Save the Bees flower mix. So I'm just gonna keep on labeling. Okay, actually, let me show you the packages and the images that I have of the seed packages. So, first is this Save the Bees variety pack. Then for the, so that's going to go in the corner. The hollyhocks, I don't think I have, do I have that here? Oh, I do. Okay, so there's the... So there's the amaranth, and it's like a pink. And then there's going to be, there's the hollyhocks. It's just a variety of colors. And then these are the sunflower, that it's a dwarf teddy bear, is the variety. Then when we step in from those items, I have daisies. And then the coneflower seeds are here. There's, I don't have images of those. But these were harvested. Sorry. <laughs> these are harvested from my mother-in-law. And, um, yes. So she shared those. She got a lot. Um, so I was very generous of her. And then lastly, the petunia mix that I got is called Royalty Mixed Colors. And it's just the burpee. So... That's the plan. I'll check back with you in a little bit. Okay, so I did half. I did two of the corners, and there's a lot of space out here. So it looks like I didn't do much, but mind you, I just tilled this. There is a lot of grass and stuff in here. It's just the way it is. It's the way it's gonna be this year. Um, so just to show you what I did, this flag right here, this is the petunias, and 
and I did about five, enough for five plants across. And then the next flag is a spacer. So I did six feet from here to that flag. And then from this flag to that flag is another six feet. And between there is where I put the cone flowers, two different varieties, one's taller than the other. And then this flag on the right side and this flag on the left side, that's where I put the daisies. So I just like sprinkled daisy seeds around each flag. And then we have a patch of grass here. I'm gonna, I don't know, that is what it is. And then that flag right there is the Save the Bees mix. So I just sprinkled that. Basically, like this whole back corner is the Save the Bees mix. And then right at the very corner, I did amaranth. And the amaranth, I did 10 seeds from about here and here. So it's like a nice corner, corner bracket of amaranth. And then I did put some sunflowers here. Again, realizing, now I did two beds like this. Realizing once I got out here, like, I'm sure I have enough seeds, but I think my, I don't know, the spacing is not, there's a lot of space out here, which is good, which means I can always add more plants. But um, yes, I'm excited. So that's what I did. I got half of the whole circle garden done and I will show you that. So we just were facing one corner. There's a second corner, third corner, oops, fourth corner, and then there's the back. And we're back around to where we started. So that's what we did today. Thank you so much for watching and following along. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.